Damascus, Virginia is known as Trail Town USA. The small town attracts people from all over, coming to ride the popular Creeper Trail or hikers walking the portion of the Appalachian Trail that runs through town. We managed to get a cancellation at Creekside RV Park, a small RV lot with only eight spots right in the middle okay, of town. Okay, so we just pulled into the Creekside RV Park and it's not what we call a campground. No, more of a parking <laughs> space. That's yeah. okay. It's more of a, what do you call it? A hookup station. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, hey, it's going to let the air conditioner run tonight. That's yeah, that's thing. all that matters. As soon as we were settled, we set out on the bikes to check out the town and learn more about the trails. Many of the homes in town are available as Airbnbs for people visiting the Creeper. So even if you don't have an RV, there are plenty of places to choose from to stay. We got it all figured out where we're going to start. Across the street is the bike station, one of the many shuttle and bike rental services in town. All right, it's the morning of our ride. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> it's downhill, why would I be nervous? Uh, I'd be nervous if it wasn't downhill. Um, so we actually decided that we really like this campground. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's not a campground, our parking spot. And uh, last night we rode around town. The town of Damascus is adorable. And um, right now we're gonna walk our bikes over to the bike station. Just right across the street. Yeah, which you is- You get a 10% discount? Yep, 10% discount if you stay here. And that's just for the shuttle that's gonna take us up to White Top Mountain. It's about a 45 minute ride, I think, kind of up, up the mountain. And then we'll jump off and cruise our way down about 17 miles. The average bike rental is about $20. Most people opt for the bike and shuttle combo for $35. We brought our own bikes, so we boarded the van for the 50 minute ride up White Top Mountain, passing beautiful scenery and Christmas tree farms. All right, we're at White Top Station, which is at the start of the trail. Yep. We're ready to go down. It's a beautiful morning. We came here this week primarily because we wanted to get out of the heat and humidity, and for the most part, I think that worked. It was 65 degrees this morning. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Guess who forgot their sunglasses? Always. I never forget mine. I never forget mine. It just hit me that I don't have them. But I think it's mostly shaded. Not a lot of, you know, a lot of tree cover, a lot of bridges. So I think you'll be fine. Yeah. The 17 mile trail follows the route of an old railroad bed. Most of the trail is crushed limestone and the scenic views of the region's creeks, farmlands, and forests are simply beautiful. Creeping along the creeper. Look at that pretty field. I love it when we just drive through like somebody's front yard. <laughs> As we just did. Yeah, all these beautiful country homes. Virginia is so pretty. The entire ride is slightly downhill or completely flat, which allows you to coast for much of the ride. That makes it the perfect ride for all ages. Okay, this is I think next to last stop before we get back into Damascus. You can see we got a little food place here. A lot of people stopping, getting ice cream, getting sandwiches. and. It's really the only place to get food we've seen on the there's a yeah there's the a little snack shop early on but it was too early so we just kind of kept going this is called taylor's valley and so this is um, a good place to eat but we brought power bars and water so we're just kind of sitting here on this little rock and hanging out and um, ready to get back on the trail but you know i was just telling you that one of my favorite things has been seeing people of like all ages on here we have seen um grandmas and grandpas definitely lots of senior adults little bitty kids um honestly anybody can do this trail um, and it has been so much fun there were three bathroom stops along the way one at the top another three miles in at green cove station and one at the 13 mile point we stopped often along the way to take pictures and enjoy the rolling creek along the path there are 47 trestles and bridges along the trail each more beautiful than the next the entire ride takes anywhere between two and a half and five hours, depending on your pace. We recommend taking your time and stopping often to take in all of the beautiful views. 